Drug using New Orleans gutter punks. Drugs Inc. Hurricane Blow Commentary. Why is it always white people who have the time to be destitute, homeless vagabonds? It's not a shock that the gutter punks the cocaine dealer in Drugs Inc. sells to are white, is it? They are white men, yet they can't get their crap together? Trust me, I understand that people of all races have bad childhoods, bad luck, poor education systems, etc. But isn't there a reason that these gutter punks are white? According to the documentary, these gutter punks are, quote, part of a wave of squatters. They came to take advantage of the vacant houses and indulge in the non-stop partying. According to one of them, he turned trash into treasure, i.e. scrapping or stealing copper, as well as raiding medicine cabinets of, of homes left by people who, who fled the area after Hurricane Katrina. Transition. What a gigantic waste of tax dollars. Cops driving up and down the freeway between Houston and New Orleans trying to bust drug dealers slash mules. There will always be a supply if there is a demand, which of course there always is, right? It's not going to stop, not in this country. People want to get high for a lot of reasons. Transition. Jim Bernazzini, Bernazzani, an ex-FBI agent, talking about New Orleans. You can blame the drug dealers all you want, but if there's no consumption, there's no dealers. It's true, right? He's making my point. And this guy is an ex-FBI agent. This is the reality. If people are using, if they're consuming, if they are demanding their drugs, somebody is going to supply it. Somebody is going to want to make some major, major ducats. Finally, a person that states the obvious, right? Again, quote, you have an educational system that failed to educate, right? You had a level of corruption that drove businesses away from the city, thus denying these kids meaningful jobs. New Orleans is not the only place that has this problem. There are many other cities and areas throughout the country full of disenfranchised people and underfunded, excuse me, an underfunded education system coupled with no jobs equals drug dealing slash drug using and all other types of illegal and sometimes immoral activities. Transition. The New Orleans drug dealing crew, the dream team's motto was this. According to the guy who was stacking up the marijuana on his bed with his face covered, takes teamwork to make the dream work. That's right. If these young guys are smart, strong, and determined enough to make it in the violent world of drug dealing, don't you think they would have done well with a better education, involved parents, and employment opportunities? Maybe they had involved parents. I don't know. But is it a stretch that they didn't have, that they had limited uh, employment opportunities, that perhaps they dropped out of school at a young age because they looked pretty damn young to me? This show was really powerful. It was much better than the other ones, uh, but this one was really something. Really something. Check it out.